Which, that's a tall order because Ling's a patient man. But yeah. Who needs a seat? I don't know. I'm a fan of Peach, so I'm excited to watch this set. Yeah, I think just for the sake of the fact that we have like almost no Pikachus here in New York. Like, Mr. L's been doing a really good job of representing the character as of late. Like, really been popping off since we've returned locals from uh, post-pandemic. Yeah, he's really been, like, putting the character on the map, at least for, like, for New York. Because, uh, yeah, like we said, we don't have too many Pikachus. But, you know, Ling Ling, he's, uh, he's been around for a minute, you know, like, tried and true Peach. Yeah, like, he's, he's running some matchups, like, all over the place that are just good for Peach, bad for Peach, what have you. The DDDs just are very new development. But when it comes to the comfort zones, like this is a really good one to set up. Yeah, I think I think this is a good matchup for Peach. And I don't know. I, I, we're not seeing too much of it right now because it's kind of even and uh, we're looking more like in Mr. L's favor. Like a lot of the reason why it's a good matchup for Peach is the fact that Peach can combo Pikachu reliably and anti him. Mr. L is not given any of that opportunity to Ling Ling. They've just been going for a straight shot. Oh yeah, shots. and uh, Peach's aerials, uh, short hop float out of shield is just all our aerials hit so low to the ground. There's nothing uh, Pikachu pancaking under really. Like Bear is going to be the key move for Ling Ling to be able to control space. Um, oh, good grab. Like that tomahawk fastball grab was so good. Yeah, dropping those floats to get grabs is also going to be really important, especially because L recognizes that he can't really trade with everything, especially as these percentages climb, because you don't want to be trading with Peach there. After wow. a certain point, that's threatening kill. That's just not taking that stage. Wow, the frame trap. That was so good. Not dying, though. Still alive. That was so cute. And he's still alive? Yeah, no, good DI. Yeah, that back air is not the strongest. Pikachu has a ton of kill moves, but that's definitely not one of them. I like the attempt from L because he got, went for the ledge trump off his quick attack, but and then they're putting him in an even worse position now. Ling Ling's got the lead. Yeah, he went for that earlier. He kind of like messed it up, so he tried to immediately go for it again. And then, this time it got a kill. That's another thing that's really good about this matchup for Peach Favor is the fact that she doesn't really have to respect Thunder Jolt. It normally controls so much space with very little commitment, and even acts as like an advancing guard for Peach to be able to come in safely. He just floats over it. She doesn't give a damn. Yeah, she just throws out her uh, nice little combo starter over it. That's so good. Oh, dear. So, such a good move in this matchup. Yeah, in most circumstances, it's not super reliable. But it's a Ooh, drag down there to forward tilt? I like that. That because that was easy. That's an easy confirm. There's not much like nuance to it. Just need to make sure you get the drag down. Get the up tilt. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Yep, yep. Got the stock. Evened up, like, like it, real quick. Like, efficiency is the name of the game here. And the way that L is playing it, like, he recognizes on paper he's got a lot of work ahead of himself. Yo, but Sam might have to take notes, because uh, L is showing you why why uh, this is ain't, might not be too bad. Might not be too bad. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a big change up in play style. Because, like, L is pretty confident with his own combos. He's confident with being able to drag off stage and harass and edge guard for long amounts of time after getting solid damage. Here, it's just hit and run. And it's working really well. Yeah, and I also, we haven't gotten to see too much of the edge guarding that Pikachu is so good at, because Peach is actually kind of hard for uh, Pikachu to edge guard. I think uh, not all characters have a problem edge guarding Peach, but I definitely think Pikachu is one of them. Nice grab. Ooh, okay, see. see, that that dash attack, even though it's super good, it's about minus 12 on shield, so you can get at least uh, at least get a shield grab if it's stale, but it's hard, yeah, to, hard to punish that sometimes. It's a good kill move, but you can't fish for it too much. Yeah, no, I think that's where Mr. L is sitting in this matchup right now. He's just like, he's fishing for the kill. And it's rough to see because then you got Pikachu struggling and just throws himself into the blunder that is Peach. But if, uh, on the other side, if Ling Ling is shielding as much, get the grabs. Take take the grabs. It's They'll eventually lead to a like, up throw kill. Yeah. So there's, there's nothing wrong with just taking the grabs. That's a good point. Yeah, Pikachu luckily having a, a kill throw. Like, absurd, but... You no, know, yeah, this character does not struggle to kill. It's just a matter of actually picking that option. Mm -hmm. I feel like... Since you have like a Swiss army knife with tools, sometimes you're like, damn, which one do I got to use? Yeah. It could be a lot. And in the pressure of a situation like this, I can get how that can get to be a bit frazzling. Because then you got to decide, well, 
do I want to try and pressure his shield? Do I want to go for that grab and then potentially whiff? Like, it, it's a lot at once. And just as we mentioned before, like this game randomly has like uh, this, uh, at least between these two, they've been going back and forth having like really hot, intense moments and then it just cools down for like a really, really long period of time. And it makes sense because L doesn't want to overextend to the point where he's going to eat a lot of damage. And Ling Ling doesn't want to push out of his comfort zone. He's the one with the percentage lead. He's the one who's... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. Hearing that pan? <laughs> Yikes. Good good DI, though. <laughs> I would have died. Yeah, that was definitely just a Hail Mary option. Like, no one's putting out forward smash. Yeah, I, I don't even that. know how he was, like, prepared to DI that. <laughs> Doing good. I'm, I'm, I'm still liking the patience, though. He's not trying to force these openings because he can't. Doing what he needs to right now. Nice roll from the ledge. Okay. The fact that down air traded with up air kind of rough for L, but the fact that he's like not overcommitting. Most Pikachu's would have gone for like a thunder attempt yeah, there. Ling is still in disadvantage, so it's it, it, it worked out. Like, it's not the most damage, it's not a kill, but L's not dead. That's the more important part of yeah, the Cyber Yeah, the most important part. Ooh, ooh, okay, nice tag. He's alive. That's one too many dash attacks yeah, on one shield. One too many dash attacks on shield. He's been really going for that uh, option. And you can tell he really wants to win this set, obviously. Yeah. So, but I, I don't want him to, like, get, get... I don't want that to get to him, because being antsy with Pikachu is what you do not want, because he has all the tools to, like... Either blow your stock up or grind it to a halt, kill you with the grab, kill you with a tilt, easy nair, like uh, air nair confirm. Uh, but, you know, it's hard. This matchup seems kind of rough when, when Ling gets to, like, hang back, float over things, and really, like, pick and choose his spots. Like, Pikachu can't force things as much with T-Jolt as he's used to. Uh, Fair not being too good versus uh, versus Peach in this matchup. You see Bear and... Bear and Pikachu's Nair being punished out of shield with Pikachu's own Nair. That float Nair is so good. So, so good. Yup. The return to Stadium, I think, might be a really solid pick because El, he's just worrying about the juggles. He wants his own safe recovery and recovery mix-ups, but he's worrying about just being able to get the little hits in here and there and then heal. But I do want to see him start going for these grabs. So I do want to see him start going for these throws so he can get the damage up and start to force Ling out of shield as much. But that's on him to get there. Yeah. We're already there knowing that the threat no, yeah, of yeah, We already good. know that, but you know, for him, he needs to really come to realize that. <laughs> but again, this this game starting as even as the first one. And I don't even feel like L was like fishing for kills that last time. I feel like he was just getting antsy and he missed a few of them. And then like he just didn't get them when he tried to go for them again and died for it. So if he just doesn't do that, I feel like he can easily take this game. And on the patience end of things, I feel like L is kind of being more rewarded for not overextending. He was bringing the match really close, and that all like that, he's got a lead to sit with. That was a really, really good S match, and I like the spacing on it, too. You know, that's really important here, because now you're forcing Peach into a situation where she has to move forward. Yeah, you're forcing uh, also Ling into a position where he might like need to overextend to get a kill or something. I don't think he has to in this matchup, but he, he might be forced to if L plays this well enough. Ooh. Oh, it's not a jump, oh though. If he didn't have a jump, he was dying. Yeah, so yeah that, that was that was death if he didn't have a jump. Nice back air. I think he has a, he has a jump still. Okay, good. Yeah, no, he's fine. Ling really good at maintaining his resources, especially because he's pretty like used to just hanging out by the ledge, off stage. Yeah, even holding on to his float, he seems to like always have it, even off stage. Like he doesn't get knocked out of it. This is a really different situation. Oh my god, see I thought he died too. Oh and oh DD. Nice snare. Uh, I think he spot dodged there and it covered it, so. Good punish on Link. I don't know if he knew he was gonna spot dodge, but he got it anyways. Yeah, now it's just Ling Ling with a lot of damage on board. It's so odd seeing Pikachu be the one to elicit the reaction in this matchup. Uh, I, I feel like I, I feel like he's like, uh, 
like even though it's it's odd to see him do it, I feel like Ling is always playing on the back end just a little bit. I feel like that's kind of his style when it when it comes to characters like this. I I feel like he's in a natural spot. Like I've seen L be more of the aggressor, even when it comes to like slower like characters he has to fight slower against. He tends to be the one that like initiating. Oh my god! Ooh. That soft nair lock was insane. Surprised he didn't die. Oh. I might jinx that. Oh, yeah, don't speak too soon. I might jinx that. Oh my god. Look at all this damage. Oh, we one extended once. From this one ledge trap. And now he's in kill percent. <laughs> he almost tied up the percentages because Al made one mistake. Literally one. Okay, that should be it. Yeah, there you go. Splat. It's my favorite throw kill in the game. It's so funny looking. It's like, ah! Oh. <laughs> like Pikachu just. It looks like a little spring. It just springs you into the air. Like, I don't even know how he's like that strong. Yeah, no, he definitely does not have the arms to put you on his head to begin with. Regardless, it's again, we're sitting in... Oh, that's the first time we see Thunder, and that's why we don't see Thunder. Nice whiff. That's why we don't go for that. That was a good whiff punish, too, on Link. Because if he missed that, that might have been, like, kind of bad for him. Because that was a free kill, like, on a bladder. But we got a last stock situation here. I would really like to see how take this game. I want to see game three. Yeah, I'm definitely here for the game three because I feel like on one hand, Ling is showing us why this is such a rough matchup for Pikachu oh and God. it forces such different play from Pika. On the other hand, we see how Mr. L is really flipping the script and being able to make those adjustments as the player and keep himself on even playing field regardless of what it says on paper this matchup should be. I like that Nair out of shield. He got a lot off of that one situation. Ooh. He, he really wanted that down throw down air. These immediate roll-ons from Mr. Eller are working out. I wonder if Ling Ling is going to catch on to it eventually. I feel like with Peach, you do have to have like specific positioning if you're committed to being on the ground. Otherwise, when she's in the air, like as Pika, you already know that she can kind of cover everything. Ooh. You're wild for it. I, 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 I got hit. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I definitely got hit there. I think it was the first time this set that we've seen Ling try to go for it. Yeah, that hard read up smash. Good air to air with that fair, meeting him right where he wanted to go. I, I want L to be a little bit more patient. Like, don't like jump in the air when you know Ling just is gonna air dodge. Oh dang! And just Ling getting that sneaky, sneaky back air, taking the set, and I'm gonna have to play Poke Lab.